Hello and a very good morning to all our viewers out there. You're watching the morning news show on CNN News 18 and I am Sriya Kundu here to take you through all the top stories of the day from across the nation and around the world over the next 30 minutes. And well, we begin the day with the ongoing parliament session. A mega face-off is expected when the Lok Sabha resumes at 11 a.m. to debate on day two of the trust vote. Home Minister Amit Shah is expected to speak around 5 p.m. in the parliament today, but there is still no clarity if Rahul Gandhi will speak in the parliament. Apparently, the Congress MP wants to speak in the presence of the Prime Minister. And remember, yesterday, the debate on the no-confidence motion against the BJP-led government brought by the opposition started amid loud sloganeering. Now, several opposition leaders raked up the Manipur issue and demanded Chief Minister Biren Singh's resignation over the violence that continues in the state. Now, the opposition MPs claimed that the government has failed on several other issues too. अगर मंत्री महोदय अगर ये ऐसा नियम शुरू करना चाहते हैं कि सदन आपके दफ्तर में जो बात होती है उसको बाहर उजागर करना चाहेंगे तो बात हम भी रख सकते हैं सर हम भी उल्टा बात रख सकते हैं अंदर की देश के मुखिया होने के नाते प्रधानमंत्री सदन में आए अपनी बात रखे अपनी संवेदना प्रकट करे और उस पर सारे पार्टी समर्थन दे और मणिपुर को एक संदेश जाए कि इस दुख की गड़ी में पूरा सदन मणिपुर के साथ है हम मणिपुर में शांति चाहते हैं सोनिया जी का मैं बड़ा सम्मान करता हूं सर सोनिया जी मुझे जो लगता है कि उनके पार्टी की उनकी दो मनस्थिति है वो एक हिंदू सभ्यता संस्कृति में बिलीव कर रही हैं इसीलिए अलौकिका पंडिता की तरह जो पूरा किताब में लिखा हुआ है कि क्या क्या करना चाहिए एक भारतीय नारी को उसका पूरा का पूरा पिक्चर सोनिया जी देती है उनको दो काम करना है बेटे को सेट करना है और दमाद को भेंट करना है इट्स द एटीट्यूड ऑफ दिस गवर्नमेंट इज ह्यूब्रस देयर इज नो अदर वर्ड एंड व्हाई आर वी फीलिंग जैसे नौ रत्न इनको बड़ा शौक है ऐसा बोलने का सो नौ रत्न नौ साल बिकॉज दे हैड दिस बिग कैंपेन ऑल द मिनिस्टर्स वर सेंट ऑल ओवर द कंट्री टू टॉक अबाउट द न्यू नाइन पॉइंट इन नाइन ईयर्स द अचीवमेंट्स इन शॉर्ट अल से वॉट इज इन नाइन ईयर्स द ग्रेट अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ दिस गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टॉपल बाई द बीजेपी Is this fair democracy? CM का यह विशेष धर्म था क्योंकि वह CM की कुर्सी में बैठे थे उनका विशेष धर्म था कि वह इस वॉयलेंस को रोकने का काम करें अगर गवर्नमेंट चाहती वहां की तो विद इन टू डेज सर यह कंट्रोल में लाया जा सकता था वॉयलेंस वॉट इज हैपन इन मणिपुर टूडे इज एज मिस्टर पटनायक से हार्ट रेंडिंग एंड ही हैज asked me to in fact mention in the all party meeting and to speak today and say that all parties must speak in one voice i express confidence in the supreme court which restored rahul gandhi ji's membership also i express no confidence motion against this government minorities of my manipur have been killed ruthlessly sir sir what has happened sir under and 43 people have been killed मैं इस सदन में पीछे बैठ करके गला फार फार करके हम उस समय के यूपीए सरकार को हम हाथ जोड़ के हम उनको मांग करते थे पुकारते थे कि कभी कभी आप नॉर्थ ईस्ट का तरफ भी ध्यान रखिए कभी कभी आप समय निकल करके नॉर्थ ईस्ट के तरफ देखिए मेरा कहने का तात्पर्य ये है कि जब भी मणिपुर में और इसलिए हम ये अविश्वास अविश्वास प्रस्ताव लेके आए हैं कि उत्तर पूर्व के जब किसी भी राज्य में कोई गड़बड़ी होती है तो उसका बहुत ही नकारात्मक असर पूरे उत्तर पूर्व के ऊपर और भारत के ऊपर पड़ता है देखिए ये घमंडिया अलायंस है और घमंडिया अलायंस से देखा कि इस घमंडिया अलायंस से डरने का क्या सवाल है अरे भी नौ साल हमने देश की जनता के लिए काम किया है देश का मान सम्मान बढ़ाया है गरीबों के लिए काम किया है और क्यों नाम रख लेने से किसी को वोट थोड़ी मिल जाता है इसलिए अगर आप नाम इंडिया रख लें भारत रख लें कुछ भी नाम रख लें लोग तो उस चेहरे को देखते हैं ना कि इस घमंडिया अलायंस के पीछे चेहरे कौन हैं वही लालू प्रसाद यादव वही अखिलेश यादव 
वही माया वही जो बंगाल की मुख्यमंत्री ममता बनर्जी तो ये वही लोग हैं जो घिसे पिटे लोग हैं जो भ्रष्टाचार में आकंठ डूबे हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल तो वैसे तमाम लोग जिन पर भ्रष्टाचार के गंभीर मामले चल रहे हैं और जो अपने अपने राज्यों में जो लोग विफल हो गए तो ये लोग अपना नाम कुछ भी रख लें इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है हम किसी से डरने वाले नहीं है देखो यूपीए से ये डरे हुए हैं और चूंकि यूपीए का जिस प्रकार से भ्रष्टाचार था और भ्रष्टाचार का जो उजागर पूरे देश भर में हुआ है तो उससे कहीं ना कहीं कांग्रेस भी समझ रही है कि यूपीए नाम अब चलेगा नहीं तो उसने नाम बदला है और लेकिन नाम बदलने से किसी के कर्म नहीं बदल जाते Now we will take you to the Prime Minister's speech from 2018 during the No Confidence debate. Uh, listen in to what the Prime Minister had said during that time. कईयों के मन में प्रश्न है कि अविश्वास प्रस्ताव आया क्यों? न संख्या है, न सदन में बहुमत है, और फिर भी सदन में इस प्रस्ताव को लाया क्यों? तीस साल के बाद देश में पूर्ण बहुमत के साथ बनी हुई सरकार को जिस गति से काम किया है उस पर फिर से एक बार विश्वास प्रकट करें आज यहाँ ये भी बात कही गई कि आप चौकीदार नहीं भागीदार है मान्य अध्यक्ष महोदया मैं गर्व के साथ कहना चाहता हूं हम चौकीदार भी हैं हम भागीदार भी हैं लेकिन हम आपकी तरह सौदागर नहीं है ठेकेदार नहीं न हम सौदागर हैं न हम ठेकेदार हैं हम भागीदार हैं देश के गरीबों के दुख के भागीदार हैं Now we have some breaking news coming in and this is the Prime Minister's fresh jibe at the grand old party ahead of 2024. For their own he said that for their own family interest the Congress has killed many aspirations. This is a jibe he's taken at the Congress leaders. He said that this is the reason why Pranab Mukherjee or Sharad Pawar could never become prime minister. BJP tells the MPs from Rajasthan that it is important for us to win the Rajasthan election and the state of Rajasthan is in a complete disarray the situation is so bad in Rajasthan like it has never been before and everybody needs to work towards it as a unit and the prime minister has also said that he's personally against any dynasty politics once again he's asked his MPs to focus on three prong approach of quit india dynasty corruption and appeasement upa is nothing but a mere game change and it is the old stuff in a new shop i've been in power and yet have taken action against the wrong doers this is the prime minister's fresh jibe at the grand old party and we have pal mehta joining us live on this broadcast pal a very good morning to you well today the bjp is all set to launch its quit india program and the campaign that they have uh, but this is the prime minister's fresh jibe at the grand old party he's spoken extensively on dynasty politics and corruption what are we gathering from this Well, so far you've seen the prime minister talk about corruption. You've seen the prime minister talk about what uh, the opposition party stood for. But yesterday was something which was entirely different. He basically said that you know this is the Congress party, and he said I'm personally against uh, you know anybody who is dynastic in nature. But this is this Congress party who has so many great leaders in their fold. But what does the Congress party do? The Congress party stifles their uh, dreams, stifles their aspirations. And so that's the reason many capable leaders, including Sharad Pawar and Pranab Mukherjee. who were very good candidates and probably candidates good enough to become the prime minister of the country their dreams could never be realized and they probably they eventually had to branch out in the sense sharad pawar branched out of uh, the congress party and and so did mamta banerjee so essentially he say, uh, he said that this is, this is the nature of the congress party what means to them is just uh, is just a family and that's the only politics that they can basically do also apart from that he spoke about the uh, the the political situation in maharashtra and in uh, uh, and in rajasthan both also saying that in maharashtra they all need to work work together uh, that is ncp uh, ncp the bjp and the shiv sena led by uh, eknath shinde and in rajasthan he says that rajasthan's condition is so bad that it feels bad because as 
it's as bad as it's never been before and that's one of the reasons that everybody must come together and work together as well but he has a big jab coming in at the congress party uh, hours before the quit india uh, sort of uh, uh, you know programs the bjp is going to launch in the prime minister's ask the party to focus on quitting uh, making india free of corruption making india free of opinion and making free india of dynastic politics right pal also the names that he's taken he's mentioned pranab mukherjee he's mentioned sharad pawar is this another attempt to rile up the opposition alliance that has been made to make sure that the parties aren't in tandem and they aren't together and in cooperation with each other the prime minister does not have to you know make sure that they are not together the prime minister also yesterday when he spoke at the bjp parliamentary party meeting he said that the problem with the opposition parties is they have to prove to themselves forget about moving to the world that to prove to themselves they are together so there is nothing that anybody has to do and amit shah also when he was speaking of the rally bill in the rajya sabha he said this is just a matter of time before this alliance falls apart because there is nothing in common binding them except corruption and except dynastic politics right pal thank you for giving us all those details and right now as we had just mentioned about the quit india campaign that is going to be launched we are going to take that story up next so after the prime minister's scathing attack on the india ahead of the 2 2024 uh, lok sabha elections the bjp is set to start its new campaign of quit india now they will launch the campaign today from the gandhi statue in the parliament premises at 10 am and bjp mp arjun ram meghwal has urged all bjp mps to take part in the campaign against quit india now remember the prime minister has has made a jai but the grand alliance and strongly criticized corruption dynasty rule and appeasement he also said that today the whole country is calling for these evil forces to quit india no august 2023 ko jo hame ek abhiyan chalana hai bhrashtachar quit india परिवारवाद क्विट इंडिया तुष्टिकरण यानी वोट बैंक पॉलिटिक्स क्विट इंडिया ये अभियान हमें 9 अगस्त 2023 से चलाना है उसमें सारे एमपी पी जुड़े ये प्रधानमंत्री जी ने आह्वान किया है नाउ लिस्निंग टू वॉट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैड टू से ऑन संडे about the INDIA alliance charo taraf ek hi gunj hai corruption quit india yani bhrashtachar india chhodo appeasement quit india yani tushtikaran india chhodo dynasty quit india yani parivarvad इंडिया छोड़ो आज पूरा देश हर बुराई के लिए कह रहा है क्विट इंडिया Now we will keep following the story as the day progresses and as we keep getting more updates from the national capital but for now we're going to take you down south where just days after the congress high command warned Karnataka ministers of zero tolerance towards corruption chief minister sidarmayya's administration is suffering a jolt in the state as the bbmp contractor association has accused deputy chief minister dk shivkumar of allegedly demanding a bribe to clear their pen- pending bills now shivkumar is being accused of demanding a 10 to 15% bribe to clear the pending bills by the bbmp workers denying all allegations dk shivkumar has said that there is nothing wrong with listening to those who are in pain he further said that everything will go by their regular procedural manner and after meeting jds leader hd kumaraswamy the bbmp con- contractors met chief minister sidramaiya and expressed their grievances and requested the release of the payments of their pending bills now the contractors also filed a complaint with the governor and requested that he instruct the government to clear the bills namge na paada namge obekadashtu varadigal bandide ಅದನ್ನ ನೈಜ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಹೋದವರು ಯಾಕೆ ತಡೆ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಇದೆ ಎರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಮೂರು ವರ್ಷ ಕಾಯ್ದಿಲ್ವಾ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಸಾವಿರ ಕೋಟಿ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಬಿಲ್ಗಳಿದೆ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ನೂರು
ಆರ್ನೂರ ಕೋಟಿ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ದುಡ್ಡಿದೆ ಈಗ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ದುಡ್ಡಿದೆ ಈಗ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಇರೋದು ನಾನೂರ ಐನೂರು ಕೋಟಿ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ದುಡ್ಡು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಇದೆ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಈ ಡಿ ಕೆ Well, we will keep following that story. But for now, we are going to slip into a short break. Do stay tuned to CNN News 18 as we bring you more latest updates shortly on the other side. India's number one news channel moves to a new destination. a never seen before news ecosystem in the history of india an unrivaled news studio that elevates the viewer experience unprecedented camera views It's from a spectacular newsroom one of a kind studio pods that takes you to an unseen digiverse a marvelous news station that echoes aspirations of new india get ready to be stunned by asia's biggest news television station CNN News 18 is here to back a power punch. CNN News 18 is here to alter your digi perspective. CNN News 18 is here to revolutionize newscast. CNN News 18 is here now and for the future. CNN News 18, Asia's biggest news TV station. Prime Minister Mr Narendra Modi has not come for even one second into either houses of the parliament if he does not come to the no confidence motion because he is confident about his numbers then i think i think that's the biggest damage prime minister modi will do to himself and as far as i know where a prime minister chooses not to be even present in a no confidence motion will be one of the worst precedents in the history of parliamentary democracy you see there are moments you have to pick your battles in life and this is one situation where i think prime minister modi is doing himself a great disservice by avoiding the parliament and avoiding his participation in the manipur debate Okay. I uh, today when the no confidence motion started what is it what is it that Mr Gogoi member of parliament said he said if prime minister had come at the start of the parliament spoken about manipur given a message to the people of manipur that the entire parliament stands with the people of manipur and we all want to restore peace it would have been it would have been the best message that would have gone to manipur let me start off with uh, dr trivedi the contention of the india parties is that they wanted this debate they know fully well that the numbers are not on their side dr trivedi that the nda has overwhelming numbers in the lok sabha the only reason they had to move this no confidence in the lok sabha was to get the prime minister to speak and today at the start of the debate he was not present in the house please respond Dr Sudhanshu Trivedi that question is to you sir Are uh, the question is to me Yes 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 that is to you Thodi ya awaaz aapki crack ho rahi hai isko theek karwa dijiyega Ji uh I just want to make one point what you have said It is has nothing to do with the prime minister it has nothing to do with the government because they are very clear in their mind that they are standing nowhere in front of the towering personality of prime minister Shri Narendra Modi, or can stand anywhere as far as the national aspect is concerned, in front of NDA or BJP, it has to do with the mutual uh, competition among the various opposition parties to prove that they are bigger. For example, I have already said. That Welcome back you're watching the morning news show on CNN News 18 and at this segment we will take you to a crucial story developing in Uttar Pradesh 
And the Uttar Pradesh government tabled the report of the 1980 Moradabad riots in the UP Vidhan Sabha yesterday after 43 years. Finance and Parliamentary Affairs Minister Suresh Kumar Khanna tabled the MP Saxena Judicial Commission report in the State Assembly in the presence of Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. As per the Judicial Commission report of 496 pages submitted in 1983, it was found that several deaths took place which were due to stampede and the police did not fire indiscriminately. Now, the report has given a clean chit to the RSS, BJP and uh, the district police officials and also claimed that the violence was pre-planned. It also stated that the difference between the Muslim League leaders, the main reason behind was the main reason behind the violence now up deputy chief minister keshav prasad morya said that this report was hidden and was needed to be presented he further added that this will help the citizens knowing the truth about the moradabad riots remember in 1980 during august to november violent clashes had broken out in uttar pradesh's moradabad which lasted till early 1981 leaving hundreds dead जो रिपोर्ट पेश हो रही है वो रिपोर्ट को पेश होनी ही चाहिए उसे छिपा करके रखा गया था और सरकार उसे सदन में ला रही है और जिससे मुरादाबाद के दंगों का सच प्रदेश और देश की जनता को जानने का मौका मिले इसी के क्रम में यह प्रक्रिया पूरी की जा रही है तो पंद्रह मुख्यमंत्रियों से आपको पूछना पड़ेगा क्यों नहीं पेश किए थे लेकिन अगर अगर वर्तमान में वर्तमान में अगर पेश किया जा रहा है तो उसका स्वागत होना चाहिए और सच सामने आना चाहिए कि दंगे कौन करता है दंगाइयों को संरक्षण कौन करता है और दंगों के खिल, दंगाइयों के खिलाफ कार्रवाई कौन करता है लेकिन मुझे तो लगता है भारतीय जनता पार्टी जान बूझ करके ज्वलंत मुद्दों पर चर्चा न हो महंगाई पर चर्चा न हो किसानों की फसल की लूट पर चर्चा न हो बेरोजगारों के सवाल पर चर्चा न हो और लोगों की आर्थिक स्थिति कैसे ठीक हो इस पर चर्चा न हो इन ज्वलन मुद्दों से भाग रही भारतीय जनता पार्टी इस तरीके से भारतीय जनता पार्टी सुगुफाबाजी कर रही है लेकिन भारतीय जनता पार्टी तो वर्तमान समय में छह वर्ष से उत्तर प्रदेश में है देश में दस साल से मोदी जी की सरकार है जानबूझ करके आंकड़े फर्जी दे रही है यहाँ बेरोजगारी बढ़ रही है महंगाई बढ़ रही है इसको कौन छुपा रहा है बीजेपी छुपा रही है जान करके छुपा रही है ठीक मैं तो विधान परिषद का सदस्य हूँ और विधान परिषद के सदस्य में मेरे पास कोई रिपोर्ट नहीं है सरकार के तरफ से संसदीय कार्य मंत्री ने मंत्री जी ने जो कार्यसूची है उसके सत्रहवें नंबर पे था उसको रखा है उन्होंने लेकिन अभी तक उसकी प्रतियां हम लोगों को नहीं बांटी गई हैं प्रतियां के लिए हम लोग बोले हैं बोले हैं कि तुरंत बांट दी जाएगी और उस अभी सुनने में आया आप लोगों के माध्यम से कि बड़ी मोटी रिपोर्ट है चार पेज की है तो बड़ा उसमें कई चीज़ें निकल के आएंगी कि उस उन्नीस की घटना है और फोर्टी थ्री ईयर्स में वह रिपोर्ट आ रही है तो क्या यह जांच रिपोर्ट बहुत पहले आ चुकी थी सदन में अब रखा गया या कब आई थी सदन के पटल पर रखा क्यों नहीं गया क्या आज अगर आई है तो फिर वो जो लोग जांच अधिकारी उसमें नामित है क्या अभी तक उन्हीं की रिपोर्ट है या कभी और इसमें बीच में किसी की रिपोर्ट आई है उसमें बहुत सारे सवाल निकल के आएंगे थोड़ा सा इंतजार करना पड़ेगा वेल इट इज ऑलवेज गुड टू बिगिन द डे ऑन अ पॉजिटिव नोट एंड हेयर वी है इंस्पिरेशनल स्टोरी ऑफ राजकुमारी देवी ए के ए के सान चाची शी वॉज बोर्न इन टू पॉवर्टी एंड शी हैड द ड्रीम्स ऑफ बिकमिंग अ टीचर टेक अ लुक इट हाउ हर स्टोरी प्रोग्रेस एंड हाउ शी इंस्पायर्ड सो मेनी ऑफ अस इन अ सोसाइटी वेर वीमेन आर स्टिल सब्जेक्टेड टू जेंडर प्रेजिडिस The story of Rajkumari Devi also known as Kisan Chachi is a source of hope and motivation. Rajkumari Devi who hails from a tiny hamlet in Bihar experienced various hurdles and opposition when she chose to start farming on her own. But defying all odds, Rajkumari Devi aka Kisan Chachi proved how women empowerment can lead to social and economic growth fondly called kisan chachi she was born in a poor family and wanted to become a teacher 
But due to her family's economic situation, her dream remained a dream. But this didn't stop her. Being married at a young age, today she stands as a role model for thousands of women. In 1990, she started with conventional farming and later switched to modern farming. Rajkumari Devi also participated in a number of self-help groups and assisted in the employment of several families in her neighborhood. In 2000, she began a journey which transformed her life forever. Rajkumari Devi began selling homemade pickles door-to-door -door while riding her bicycle. Slowly, her business grew and today she's fondly known as Kisan Chachi, not just in India, but even abroad. Rajkumari Devi is now motivating women to become financially self-reliant. Her inspiring story received praise from Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his radio address, Man Ki Baat. Apart from being awarded by the state, she has also been conferred with the Padma Shri. Rajkumari Devi's journey proves that with passion, persistence and hard work, women can overcome obstacles and reach great heights. Network 18 salutes Rajkumari Devi as a symbol of women's empowerment who believes in Main Kar Sakti. आसमान ही नहीं मैं अंतरिक्ष भी छू सकती हूँ सरकार हो या कारोबार हर बागडोर संभाल सकती हूँ उठाए अगर कोई दुश्मन आंख तो करारा जवाब दे सकती हूँ कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर सबके साथ बढ़ सकती हूँ मैं कर सकती हूँ सोच की दीवार हो या बंद हर के वार हो अपने हौसले से पार कर सकती हूँ देश के निर्माण से लेकर दुनिया को आगे ले जाने में अपनी भागीदारी निभा सकती हूँ मैं शी शक्ति हूँ मैं कर सकती हूँ Well, that was indeed a motivational story for all of us. But that's it for this segment. Thank you for watching. Do stay tuned to CNN News 18 for more news updates right here.